Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back at the feet of the 16th Colossus. Now, something that you don't want to do when you're fighting this guy is shoot him in the dick. Because if you do, his dick will shoot back. Now, uh, I don't know if I triggered it just then, but if you shoot straight up and hit this guy in the crotch, his dick will fire a laser back at you, so uh, don't do that. Just wanted to go ahead and demonstrate that uh, this guy has laser skeet, and you don't, you don't want to mess with that. Alright, so now we basically just hop on the back of his skirt here and start climbing. We're going to have to probably end up climbing this guy a few times. It's gonna, there's going to be a point where I just start cutting it out. Now this guy, his, a lot of his pieces of his like metal skirt that he's got are mobile. And so frequently when you're running around out here, Wander will just sort of trip it for what seems like no reason. Well, what's actually happening is that, you know, the Colossus has shifted his weight and like the skirts move this way or that way or whatever. And Wander just sort of loses his balance as the ground moves underneath him. Now we have to head a little more forward, I think. Dude, don't fall. What's going on? I hit an invisible wall there for a second. Back up. Back up. Let's try this again now. So that's where I'm supposed to go. It's right there. <laughs> Got it. And now we climb this. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, if you can't go up, go around. And if you can't go around, go up. It's not particularly complicated, so... You shouldn't have any trouble figuring out how to climb this guy. Just basically look for anything that... Whoa, I thought I almost just fell inside of him again. That wouldn't be cool. Now this part's weird. You have to actually like get one to kick his legs up like that. Basically all you do is just keep pushing up and tapping X. Just like, you, like, just like, just like you're trying to jump. It's the same idea there. And while you can see we're getting near his hands. Now which side are we moving on? We want to be behind him. So I'm going to circle around just a little bit. Yeah, here's his back. Whoa, shit, I just fell. I just jumped right off the edges. I wasn't facing the right way a little bit. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to climb. He's supposed to be jumping. Water, that's not gonna work, man. Got to jump, dude. There you go. I don't know why it zooms out to show us his wrist, but okay. All right, Water, get around that that box there, dude. Don't be falling again. This is this is a, this is a tricky part because those boxes give you like really thin walkway to, to use. And we jump up here. Let's get our sword out so we can start looking for sigils. He's got one. On, he's got a weak point on his back here. Alright, now, just knock him with your sword. You don't even have to climb onto him. And he'll reach behind you. He'll reach behind him like that. Reach behind himself. He'll, like, yeah, he'll, he'll do what he's doing right now. <laughs> and you jump onto his hand. Oh boy. This is where the fight gets tricky. Basically, you see the music, the epic music hasn't started yet. That's because what we've done so far has been, like, basically incon inconsequential. As far as, like, doing damage to him and such. Alright, chill out. Once he puts you on top of his hand, that's when you got his him at, on the run. His, oh shit, I almost, what's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god! I was like, okay, he almost just threw me there. That, that wouldn't have been fun. Yeah, there you go. Get onto his furry arm. Alright. Climb up, Wander. You know where I'm trying to tell you to go. Alright, and you can stand here for a bit and regain your grip if you want. And if, yeah, if he starts shaking around, make sure you hold on to R1. You don't want to get thrown at this point. We have, we've made a good bit of progress towards getting towards his head. So now we wait. And we're going to crawl down. And stab him. Just a real quick stab right there. You don't have to wait, waste any grip by charging that up. And then jump the other direction to... Ah, shit. This is the part that always gave me trouble. Was because for some reason I can't get Wander to jump away from the platform. He always wants to fall straight down here when I do this part. And I'm executing it in the exact same way that I did... Uh, you know, previous goes, but I guess we'll just see. Oh, I think I just screwed it up. Where the hell did I land? All right, I'm back on his waist. Great. Yeah, this is the part that gives me the trouble, just because I have not yet figured out. I mean, even with my like numerous experiments that I tried to do on my last of my practice run and such, I couldn't figure out whether you're supposed to push down or towards his other hand or what. But I, it doesn't seem that I just tried both of them and neither of them worked. So I'm a little bit perturbed occasionally by this bit. But it's not particularly difficult to get back to his arm once you, if you land on his waist. It's only if he throws you all the way back to the ground that things can really start to suck. There he goes. Oh, dude, you had it. You got onto the wrong arm. Alright, we'll wait. Oh, do I need to stab you again? Don't jump, Wander, don't jump. <laughs> Pulling down the X button and I was like, no, I don't want him to jump. The hand's not there anymore. There you go. Give him another stab. Alright, now set up for a jump. Dude, he just, he fell. Why didn't he, why didn't he jump? Why did he just fall? I don't get it. 
Alright, try this one more time. Meh. Stab you in the arm. Oh, screw you, Wander. What are you doing, man? Try this one more time. Oh, man. Whoa, okay. And the thing is, I like I don't know which like what order to let go of the buttons in. So just like, I think if you let go of R1 first, he just falls. So you have to let go of either X or the control stick first. But, screw me if I know which one. Alright, so we'll wait for a second. Let's get some more of our grip back. Like I said, this is the tricky part. You'll probably be here for a bit. Alright, quit doing that crap. We jumped to your other arm now. Oh, wonder. Dude, you're failing us, man. Get back onto the fur. What are you doing? I, was like, I can't figure out what he's hanging onto there. Stab him again. Let's try this one more time. Damn it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just keep doing it until it works. Okay, well, apparently pushing to the left makes him jump up rather than, like, away from the direction that you want him to jump. So that's not the best idea. And not pushing any direction makes him fall. Alright, give me an opportunity to get my grip back, dude. Thank you. Yes. How obliging of the final Colossus to give us these opportunities. And we'll just wait. And he seems content to wait with us. Whatever you do, do not stab his arm while you're not holding R1. Because that will screw you. Because he'll immediately convulse and just throw your ass. And that's not cool. Dude. Seriously. Oh, I thought I had it for a second there. But no. Shit, don't fall. Wander. Damn it. Okay. Now we're back on his arm again. That took me a future. Okay, wow. I thought I was about to just fall again. That was not going to be cool. Because I was definitely holding R1 when water started to, like, tumble and he didn't grab anything. He just kept tumbling. Alright, whoa, he's trying to shake us now. Hey, hey, hey. Chill out, dude. Chill the freak out. Haha! -ha! I knew my new idea would work. I just said screw it to try and jump from one arm to the other. And I backed up, stood on his elbow, or that little ridge that he has right there, and just jumped from there. So he goes, oh my god. Alright, now what do I do here? I think stabbing him in the hand is the best idea at this point. Yeah, I'll get, to, I'll get him to sit still for a second. We well, get out our bow and shoot him in the shoulder. Now grab R1 as soon as that happens, because you don't want him to throw you off of his hand. And once you got him, like this, shit, we gotta need to climb on top of his hand so we can jump to the shoulder. Jump! Jump! Climb! Climb! Alright. And now we are on his back. Heck yes. Whoa, he's shaking us all around. Alright, hey, chill out, dude. Chill out. Alright, we're gonna stand on his shoulder for a bit and get our grip back. Whoa. Alright now, alright now. Relax. You're cool. You're cool, bro. You're cool. We're trying to get my grip back now. You just wait for a second while I do this. And we'll grab him again. And basically, you're just going to stand here and farm your grip meter until it's time to, uh, you know, bring the cows home and go finish them off by getting the sigil on his head. But uh, he's being a little bit uh, uncooperative right now. So I think that we will finish off the final clauses in the next video. See you guys then. Dude, would you sit still?